Let's let's get straight to the fight. First round, gloves are off. Bob's your uncle. They start throwing at it. And Dustin Poirier, lo and behold, starts with a hug. He goes for the takedown. Big surprise. I, didn't, I did not see that coming at all. Not at all. Um, um, I thought uh, he would probably want to go toe-to-toe with Connor um, when striking and brawling. Yep. Uh, but no, he surprised everyone by literally trying to kabib him. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, well, he, d- he definitely took a page out of the right book, right? Yeah, and that, that's a very... like. Dustin was trying different things. That, that's what you got to do against Conor. You, you got to definitely try 100%. different things. You can't try to outbrawl him all the time. Um, Dustin tried different things. And I, as we're talking about, the game plan, I think, is top notch. You have to respect the game plan. I think in a lot of big fights, you can get caught up in the moment. Yeah. And for Poirier and for McGregor, to a, to a, to a lesser extent, this is, his, uh, this is his grand final. This is his, you know, all roads lead to this fight. Yeah. According to Conor, this is the Red Panties fight, right? This is his payday, right? So he, he has definitely been leading up to Crescendo in this moment. Yeah. And a lot of fighters get out of the focus in, in terms of a game plan. But, you know, the fact that Dustin Poirier, a renowned striker and brawler, technical brawler as he'll call himself came out with a game plan to take McGregor out in the first round was surprising. It was surprising that he went through with it and was quite effective, at least in the beginning, right? Yeah, well, McGregor seemed shocked about it as well. He didn't see, he didn't see that coming, I think, from Poirier. Um, it was, he was sort of taken a bit, a bit back by it and he just yeah. wanted to sort of regroup, I thought, after that first round. And, well... What happened in the second? <laughs> yeah, well, before we go to the second round, I think that there's there's definitely like let, let let's rubbish this narrative that Conor McGregor's grappling is 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 terrible because yes, no. he he got taken down. Was it a bit surprising on on both sides? It was a bit surprising. I think yeah. McGregor definitely wasn't expecting that, but at the same time as well, he he got up pretty effectively. Like he yeah, yeah. He, he, he he um he got out of like he obviously was a bit like shocked that you know, yeah Poirier was doing that, but. Yeah, he, he soldiered through it, and I, th- I thought he got out of it pretty well. He got some, definitely got some good strikes in. Utilized um, the cage, was able to, yeah. to stand up. They had a bit of, you know, an underhook pummel sort yeah. of war, which was which was all fun. And I think that, uh, you know, all this was probably engineered by the Poirier camp to to tie McGregor out and, you yeah. know, tick. Tick in that box. Well, that, yeah, that definitely could, worked. Poirier really wanted to take it into the fourth and fifth rounds, but... Yeah, it's, it was a definite game plan for it. That that was the only way I reckon Poirier was going to win, but man, he did shock in the second. Yeah, you really want to go to that second. Let's, I really let's keep talking to that about this, this first round. Well, because, first well, well, look, he, he got him into, he yeah. took him down, yeah. tick. Um, McGregor, you know, s- survived the takedown, was able to utilize the, the cage, get up. They had a bit of a pommel war, but interesting enough, and we saw this within the, the, the Cerrone fight, this... These damn yeah, shoulders. shoulders. I don't. I don't think Poirier liked the, <laughs> liked some of the action that was coming back his way. By the, by the way, first round Poirier took a lot of hits. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, he did sort of uh, stop Connor, like you know, with attack with the wrestling, but yeah. there was a lot of hits thrown at Poirier's face, and he was just taking it like a champ. It's it's interesting enough, and I think this is what happened in the first fight. Yeah. Poirier, he's a very technical striker, but he doesn't seem to have a very tight guard, no, and no, a no, lot no. either that or just the speed yeah. and the speed of Connor's strikes were coming in through the yeah. guard. And yeah, you're right. I mean, like he, he has a good face for a guy that, you know, doesn't mind the, you know, the you know, getting hit quite frequently. So yeah. look, he, he was getting tagged and I think all in said and all that was said and done, I, I believe uh, a lot of people had a 10, nine to McGregor. I think on the totality of the first round, you know, it was yeah, definitely yeah. a surprise to be taken that. down. There, there was a bit of a clinch war there, a bit of underhooks, but from a damage perspective, yeah, I think the lasting damage points were, were in favor of McGregor. Definitely in favor of McGregor. Um, yep. The shots that he got in, I thought were pretty good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like the the tackling aspect from Poirier was... Um, <laughs> tackling? The takedown. The takedown, sorry. <laughs> we're in Australia. <laughs> just footy players. Well, Volko, if, you, if you're watching, I'll let you boy. The takedowns from uh, Poirier was... Um, yeah, it was interesting, right? It like was interesting. It, it was interesting to through, see a guy a that... spanner in the works, I think, from, yeah, absolutely. from Connor's point of view in terms of his game plan. Yep, hundred um, percent. Didn't see that coming. Round two, they come out again, <laughs> initiate in the beginning, and what we're definitely seeing here is a is not another takedown. Uh, no, no. So so it was interesting. It felt oh, like he that... switched it up. <laughs> that was it. Like Poirier just straight up went after the legs, just kicking those, him. Those calf kicks, they were, they were coming. They were coming you know, hard and fast at Connor, and Connor, um, you could see his leg was starting to get. Re- it was definitely affecting him. 
Um, and you were, you were pointing out during the fight that he was his balance was going a bit off. Yeah, so the, I think there have been a lot of evolutions in terms of you know strikes, and and every year we just see the you know the development of of a UFC athlete and MMA athlete evolve. But leg and calf kicks have been, to me, some of the biggest acceleration of damage proponents in the UFC. And, and we saw that here. And the interesting thing is, you'll feel the pain, you'll feel the pain, you'll feel the pain. But unless you check it, there's a, there's a point of diminishing marginal returns where that occurs. And, and Connor was just very lackadaisical about yeah, it. He was letting it happen. He was letting it, it happen. Was, uh, yeah. to, to the point where it started to annoy him. And yep. it, was, it was affecting his balance. Yeah. But yeah, was, I got to... Yeah, I was going for McGregor in this, but I've got to give respect to Poirier for that game plan because that was very good. Really good game plan. Like, So he, he came in with the calf kicks. You're, you're right. McGregor was was letting it go. He wasn't necessarily checking it. No. Then towards you know the middle of that second round, you know, enough's enough, mate. This is yeah, not exactly he was, he was you know a massage. Yeah. So yeah, he started catching the kicks. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they had a little bit of, not necessarily a scramble, but he caught, caught the kicks. Poirier was balancing. Yeah. And they were getting caught in these sort of firefights. And interestingly enough, even with the calf kicks, McGregor was for most of the part winning a lot of these firefights. He was, yeah. yeah. Um, until, yeah, the end, where, like the calf kicks started to have the effect and he was losing his balance. And yep. you could see that when he was sort of going towards the cage a bit more. Yeah, 100%. Um, and he was just not, yeah, he was not feeling confident in his balance. And yeah, look. When, when you're not feeling confident um, like that, Poirier was just willing, like waiting to strike. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he and he got some good ones in. So let's talk about the final, the finishing sequence. Yeah. The finish him. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Poirier backs McGregor basically towards the fence in terms of the corner. McGregor is backpedaling at this stage, yeah. um, and there's no doubt that the accumulation of the damage to the calf kicks has done its toll. Yeah. And Poirier starts swinging for the fences. And this was very reminiscent of a fight that he had with Dan Hooker, where he's just used to that sort of... This is when he goes from te technician to just straight out brawling. Straight out brawling. And yeah. he was missing... <laughs> yeah. Like, uh, you know, it, when you watch it in real time, it looked like he was hitting a lot. Um, and with the, you know... You know, with the legally bought stream that, that we were... <laughs> we're good, Dana. We're above Bob circuit at MMA Life. This is like a legitimate channel over here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Dana, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> we could see that. Um, yeah, we, we could see that. Uh, yeah, it looked like all was landing, but upon the replay, a lot no, was no, missing, no, no. right? A lot of it was missing, but yeah, the ones that did land were pretty good. He got him with that hook and it was over. It was over, she wrote. McGregor hit the canvas, and unfortunately for McGregor, that's going to be another meme that, that uh, I think I've, I've started seeing it circulate in, in the news boards. But man, he Poré shocked the world definitely shocked the world um, yeah. everyone was thinking this is just uh you know mcgregor was gonna run through him pretty easily i did as well <laughs> yeah look it's it... um but you gotta respect the game plan and that's what i feel now. you know poirier really just had a solid game plan he wanted to try different things against uh yeah connor yep um and he also he talks about after the fight that he really leaned into his kickboxing yep. as well yeah um yeah. and that, that was something i think that was proved crucial in the end Spot on, great game plan, well executed, um, didn't go crazy. And, and the fact of the matter is, for the most part, he actually was like, you know, getting outstruck by McGregor. Yeah, he, got, he got hit he, a he, lot. Poirier can take a, can take a pretty punch. Uh, and again, he was able to, yeah, it, it, was, it was the crescendo of certain sequences that allowed the, the sort of finish. But when you think about, you know, the game plan and the fight in its totality, the yeah. takedowns were designed to tire him out, tick. The calf kicks were meant to immobilize him, tick. And, you know, I think it was a combination of, of those two elements that got Conor McGregor against the fence and the finishing Definitely. sequence and, uh, was the finishing uh, both sequence. Both of them, I, th I thought, was meant to sort of put his his, his game plan off. Yeah. It was put him off his game plan. Yeah. Um, to put, a, uh, put a Conor McGregor off his game plan. It's just, he didn't see it coming. And I think he was just sort of backpedaling ever since he got sort of taken down. Yeah. So how impressed were you with Poria considering that... Uh, yeah, you don't necessarily watch the UFC no, no, a lot. No. I was very impressed. Um, for for someone mainly because of the fact that he tried different things. Yep, he wasn't just playing along, and it seemed like he was, he was trying down the takedowns. He was trying to take downs. He was trying the the kicks. All that. He was trying different things, that, and that's how you beat the greats, right? Yep, absolutely. You can't just um sort of out outdo them in in their field. Yep, like Connor's a you know pretty impressive brawler. Yeah, for you sure. Can't, you you shouldn't just try to out brawl him. You have yep. to try different things. 
And um, Poirier definitely did, and he really did impress.